Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at the EC extended model for today's Spur video. So I'm okay, going six weeks ahead. Well, it's a 30 day look ahead, but we will look at weeks five and six days as well. Uh, we're going to go uh, 30 days or six weeks ahead with the EC extended uh, for UK and for the uh, for the rest of Europe as well. So this is our uh, Tuesday European outlook for the next uh, six weeks. I shall get on with that for you very shortly. Just say that the first video release today was our uh, 7am forecast and also released a little video looking at the weather for um, Naval Weekender and also End of the Road Festival at the end of the road of summer 2021. And uh, we're going to have our 10 to 14 day coming up for you later on uh, this afternoon. That's going to include all the regular features as well. Please like, share, subscribe on all our videos. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely Tuesday. Right, let's begin then. We're going to start off with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly. Here we go. Uh, high pressure is dominating uh, across the far north of Europe. So uh, up to Scandinavia and to the north of the UK and Ireland. Got a big area of high pressure well and truly in control. That's keeping much of northwestern Europe mostly dry. Also have a bit of a ridge down towards eastern and southeastern parts of Europe. So uh, that's probably going to be putting up more warmth from uh, Africa into that southeastern corner. Low pressure from the Atlantic coming in towards Spain, Portugal and southern France. That may be suggesting a bit of a breakdown as we go uh, further on. We'll have to wait and see what the rest of the charts have to say. Uh, and then low pressure across eastern parts of Europe. This is week one, by the way. I've not said that, have I? That's the 30th of August to the 6th of September. So quite a bit going on. Uh, most most uh, of Europe dominated by high pressure. We do have some lower pressure in places. Here's a 500 millibar high dominant from the North Pole view down. So again, we've got a trough of low pressure extending through eastern and northeastern parts. You've got this ridge down here across uh, southern Europe and North Africa. Big ridge in the west and in the northwest. And then lower pressure in off the Atlantic towards Spain, Portugal, and at southern France. So here's our temperature. It's actually it's quite a cool week across many parts of Europe, and not really pulling warmth into the southeastern corner either. So you have got some heat across North Africa, just extending into the central bowl of the Med. Uh, and it's still a bit warm and average through particularly western parts of the UK and into Ireland, I mean, down into northern, northwestern uh, France. But other than that, most areas are quite cool. I mean, this is a little area across southern Norway as well. That's a bit warmer than, uh, than average. But otherwise, uh, Europe is generally looking quite cool, especially so in the northeast and also in the east as well. So from like uh, eastern, uh, from like eastern Poland uh, towards the Black Sea, yes, below average temperatures through there. And even down to the southeastern part of the Mediterranean, it does look a little bit. Uh, on the cooler side. You know, it's still a little bit warmer than average around the Greek islands, but generally quite a lot cooler, particularly compared to what we've had over the past few weeks. So many parts of Europe actually looking quite cool in the week here. Precipitation-wise, look like that. Very dry, of course, in the northwest. We've got this big area of high pressure dominating. So uh, through Ireland, through the UK, through northern France, through the low country, Belgium, the Netherlands, northern and west parts of Germany, Denmark, and much of Scandinavia looking very dry in the week here. Eastern parts of Europe also looking quite dry. I think that southeastern corner looking relatively dry there. Wetter through Spain, Portugal, and into the central bowl of the Med. Could be some quite big thunderstorms going on uh, there in week here. And also quite wet in this extreme eastern, northeastern corner of Europe in the week ahead. Right, so that's week, uh, that's going to be week one done. Let's have a look at week two, which will be the 6th through to 13th of September. All change, so much more unsettled now across northern and western Europe with low pressure uh, heading in off the Atlantic. Obviously, that's bringing much more unsettled weather into northern western parts of Europe. The ridge is uh, receding eastwards, so it's like northern eastern Scandinavia around the Baltic Sea into northeastern Europe and then into western Russia, where the high pressure is going to be uh, dominating weather. Otherwise, it looks quite an unsettled scene. This low pressure is, or these areas of low pressure are, sort of progressing eastwards, I think, with time. The 500 millibar high anomaly for week two also demonstrating uh, a big change for Western Europe with below average heights from the Atlantic into Western part of Europe. The ridge is still there across northern Scandinavia, 
uh, but it is it is weakening and low pressure still sort of in that far uh, northeastern corner, perhaps some ridging trying to move in off the Atlantic into extreme southwest of Europe. The week two temperature anomaly actually warms up. So although it turns more unsettled, uh, it actually starts to warm up a little bit across this northwestern corner. So Ireland and the UK go a bit warmer than average. Scandinavia, especially eastern Scandinavia, around the Baltic Sea and towards western Russia. I mean, down its east side of Europe, looking quite cool. And into southern Europe, uh, warm and average through Italy and into central bowl of the Med. So a bit of a cool side through northern parts of Spain. Warmer through southern and southwestern Spain. And generally a bit on the warmer than average side in that southeastern corner of the Med as well. Precipitation wise for week two goes much wetter across western Europe. Look at this, well above average rainfall uh, on this western side. So, so from Ireland and Portugal in the far west all the way over to western parts of Poland uh, to the east. It goes significantly wetter than average, especially through Ireland, through the UK, through France, through the low countries, through Germany into Denmark, looking uh, really quite wet there. North was into the central north part of the Scandinavian peninsula. Goes uh, drier through that area. The uh, southwestern tip of Europe, like southern Spain, to North Africa, a bit drier than average through there. And then around the Black Sea, it's a bit drier than average too. Near normal precipitation in this area, where, of course, the ridge is beginning to break. Right, we're heading week three, which will be the 13th to 20th of September. Wow, look at this. Very, very unsettled. Wet September coming up through many parts of Europe, especially the western part of Europe. If the ECM is right, it's been signaling this for a little while. So, uh, yes, significantly wetter than average through western Europe, and especially, again, around Ireland through the UK and into some parts of Scandinavia, the low countries of northern Germany, this area here is where the low pressure is situa situated, but generally it just looks quite low pressure dominated really across the whole of Europe to be honest by this point, all the way from the far west to the far east, we've generally got lower pressure, let's have a look at 500 millibar height anomaly. Again, looks really unsettled, doesn't it, Bear? 13th to 24th September, big trough of low uh, across northern and, and western Europe, and extending into some parts of central Europe too. The ridge is ever weakening to the uh, far east and northeast. This does look like a very significant change. And, uh, and September doing something, you know, that it has done for quite a while. Uh, it's been a lot, quite a while since it had a really wet September. Um, across northern and western Europe, anyway. Uh, it looks like this might be it. If the ECM is right, then a deluge uh, is coming. Temperature anomalies are lowering as well across western Europe. So we're going slightly below average now uh, from Scandinavia down towards uh, France and into, uh, into northern parts of Spain as well. Ireland and the UK could be included in that. Same time, though, Eastern Europe's going a bit warmer, actually. So from Italy uh, over the Adriatic into the Balkans, then down in towards the southeastern corner of the Mediterranean, Greece and Turkey, looking warmer than average uh, through there. So a northwest south east Southeast split looks like it's setting up with temperatures for week three and uh, week three precipitation also looking significantly wet and average again through northern and west Europe by week three the signal you know the strength of the signal is normally weakening particularly for precipitation um, but but this was really wet actually for for northern and west Europe all the way over towards the Ukraine so all of this area is wetter than average it's drier through the southern part of Europe down into the uh, southern part uh, of the Mediterranean. And then go through to week four. This is going to be the 20th, 27th of September. Uh, so another change taking place. We're losing the lower pressure now. Uh, we've got low pressure across southern parts of Europe. Otherwise, I'll just put in a couple of question marks because it's not really clear what the pressure is doing. But it might be transitioning into some higher pressure, perhaps, across northern West Europe. Again, the 500 millibar height anomaly is looking quite mysterious there for week four with not much of a signal. The temperature anomaly uh, looks a bit warm and average across the far uh, northern part of the Atlantic. So up here we're warm and average. Uh, cooler and average sway though seemingly through there. Uh, so that's a little bit of a cooler area perhaps. And then down here into the uh, southeastern part of the Med uh, we start to go warmer uh, through there. A weakening signal though definitely for week four as we often see precipitation wise. So it's still a little bit on the wet side for western parts of Europe. Again it is a very weak signal but still a little bit on the wet side for western parts of Europe. Otherwise not all that much of a signal. 
Right, so that's where 30 days. Okay, done. Let's just extend your three weeks, five and six data, because why not? So this is week five, mean at sea level pressure anomaly. Uh, this takes from 27th of September to 4th of October. High pressure comes back to western and southwestern Europe. We range the pressure. Um, and probably turn things quite a bit warmer, actually, up the western side of Europe uh, with that, uh, I would have thought. The 500 millibar height anomaly shows an area of above average height setting up in this western southwestern part of Europe. So uh, that should start to settle things down a bit for Western Europe. The temperature anomaly uh, looks like this. So it goes cooler than average in the eastern part of Europe. Western Europe hinting, I think, at being a little bit on the warmer side, perhaps. Um, precipitation anomalies uh, look like that for week five. So particularly dry in the southwestern corner around France, down to Spain and Portugal looks quite dry there. Perhaps a little bit wetter over on the east side of Europe. Very weak signal, though. And then week six will take us from the 4th through to the 17th of October. This is how it's looking. Um, another change, high pressure then pulls out into the middle of the Atlantic. It's a middle Atlantic ridge, essentially. Uh, so that could start sending wind into the north, across the west side of Europe, higher pressure in the southeastern corner. The 500 millibar height anomaly for week six, again, suggesting a bit of a mid-Atlantic ridge from here that might get the wind into the north through western parts of Europe. You'd think this would be a cooler week the west of Europe. Actually, most places don't have much of a signal. Looks a bit cooler over on the east side of Europe and the precipitation anomaly for week six. Very, very weak signals by that point. I don't think we can draw too many conclusions. Other than, I suppose, the Atlantic looks relatively dry around here um, where we've got that high pressure ridging northwards. But I think by week six, the signal is so so weak that we can't really uh, draw too many conclusions. Right, so wet September to come uh, through western and northern, northwestern parts of Europe, if this is right, or certainly a couple of weeks of very wet weather. Anyway, um, from, from the second week of September onwards, we get a little bit of a deluge setting up, maybe getting back to some higher pressure towards the end of September and into October, though. Uh, so... Got some quite interesting weather on the way. If you enjoyed this European outlook uh, extended, then please don't you smash the like button. Make sure to sub to the channel and drop a comment. Let us know what you think. And uh, we'll be back with uh, another one of these next week. And on Friday, we will do another six weeks look ahead. That will be focusing on Ireland and the UK as ever on a Friday. Or it might be Saturday, actually, this week. I mean, it'll probably be Saturday morning, actually, uh, with that one. Right, any, in any case, never mind. Uh, that's all for now, then. Uh, we're going to be back later on your 10 to 14 day. Uh, that's going to include all the regular features uh, for this one. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.